It was cold and snowy on the island of Sodor. They were excited. The winter holidays were here. People were coming from far and wide to visit the island. This year, there was even more snow than usual. It covered the island and blocked the roads. Bertie the bus couldn't take any passengers. So Sir Topham Hatt came to Tidmouth Sheds. Percy, you are to pull the passengers today, said Sir Topham Hatt. Percy was worried. He usually took the mail or shunted freight cars. He hadn't pulled passengers for a long time. Gordon will show you what to do, said Sir Topham Hatt, and he left. I'm an express engine, huffed Gordon. I shouldn't be slowed down by a small engine like Percy. Gordon went with Percy to the depot. But when Percy backed up to collect his coaches, he bumped them very hard. No, 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 you need to puff smoothly, Gordon huffed impatiently. Watch me, you'll soon learn how to pull passengers. Gordon backed smoothly up to his coaches and buffered up to them gently. Very smooth, said the yard manager. The best buffering I've ever seen. Gordon was so proud he thought his boiler would burst. Hmm, maybe teaching Percy will be fun. Gordon said to himself. Then he'll see I'm the biggest and the best. Gordon pulled into Knapford Station. He rolled smoothly to a stop. Perfect, Gordon chuffed. Then Percy pulled into the station. Look at all those passengers, he gasped. He blew his whistle and wished lots of steam. You're doing it all wrong, huffed Gordon. Don't wish until your passengers are on board. Watch me! Gordon waited. When all the passengers were on board, he wished some steam. Gordon was very proud. He liked showing Percy that he was the best. Gordon was having lots of fun, but Percy wasn't. Percy was fed up. Gordon and Percy puffed across the island. Gordon puffed through the snowy valley. Percy puffed under the icy bridge. Later, Gordon and Percy were at another station. Their passengers were all on board. Percy wished some steam. You're learning a little bit, groaned Gordon, but you're still not doing it right. Watch me. Gordon wheezed some steam and pulled out of the station. Big blue show off, puffed Percy. But Gordon wasn't listening. He was already puffing through the countryside. I'm so clever, Gordon chuffed. There must be someone else I can show. And there was. Watch me, Gordon chuffed as he raced past James. I puff nice and smoothly. Then he raced past Toby. Watch me, I'm the fastest and the best. Gordon puffed into the station. He was very excited. There were lots of people he could show off to. Watch how smoothly I can go! Gordon was so busy showing off, he didn't see how icy the track was. Gordon slid right through the station and into a siding. Everyone watched as he puffed into a big pile of snow. Yuck! coughed Gordon. Luckily, no one was hurt. Sir Topham Hatt was very cross. I asked you to teach Percy, he said sternly, not show off all afternoon. Yes, sir, sorry, sir, Gordon puffed quietly. Just then, Percy puffed past. 
he pulled smoothly into the station. All of Percy's passengers arrived safely at the platform. Gordon's passengers had to walk through the snow. Gordon was very embarrassed. His face was as red as Bertie the bus. But Edward soon pulled him out of the snowdrift. Later that evening, it was time to go home. The passengers were all aboard Gordon and Percy. Gordon wanted to show Percy how smoothly he could puff. But then he remembered sliding into the snowdrift. Gordon didn't want to look silly again. Percy, you go first, Gordon puffed. Show me how smoothly you can go. So Percy pulled smoothly out of the station. And Gordon followed. Gordon and Percy puffed through the snowy countryside. And Gordon didn't show off once. At last, Gordon and Percy arrived at Tidmouth's sheds. Did you see how smoothly I puffed? asked Percy. Yes, said Gordon. You have learned very well. Percy was proud. But then again, Gordon added, I am a very good teacher.